Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So in our today's tutorial, we will learn how to create an animated slider in Android Kotlin. So as you can see, this is our slider. We can drag it and we can use the slider like this. As you can see, it has a very beautiful UI with some sort of animation and we can change this limit of 50 as per your, your wish. So without wasting much time, let's start our tutorial. So head back to Android Studio and create an empty Kotlin project. I had given it name as Fluid Slider. So in order to create this type of slider, we need to use some external libraries, right? So just go to Chrome and search for the Fluid Slider Android library, and you will get this page of GitHub, which is created by Ramotion. And in order to create this type of slider, we need to use this library, right? So just copy this implementation dependency and go to our project and go to build.gradle file and paste it here. After pasting this uh, dependency here, then just sync your project and then your project will be ready to use this library. And then just go to resources, layouts and activity underscore main.xml file. In order to create a slider, we need to use this uh, attribute which is known as fluid slider. Uh, by adding that library, you can get this attribute, right? So just give the ID and use the uh, normal uh, attributes that we regularly use with any of the UI component width and height, margin end, margin top, and an elevation of 2dp that is uh, wh what type of animation you want, and then uh, size small or large, what size of you want, and then duration, and then add also these attributes. Uh, as per your wish and then I had added here text view to display it uh, and uh, it will be uh, disabled when we will drag this uh, slider so just go to main file and I'll show you how to implement this slider in Android Kotlin so uh, just use the ID of your text view in because we need to have perform some action on text view and then uh, store the value into very integer value into variable of what maximum size of a slider you want and then minimum slice of slider here we are having two attributes and then uh, subtract both the uh, variables and then store it into third variable which is known as total and then we will assign a variable to the our UI component that is the uh, slider we had created into an activity main.xml and then uh, we need to use that id of the slider dot position listener equals to here we are using lambda function uh, I'll explain you how what uh, it performs. Then we have uh, created a pause variable and which stores the uh, bubble text uh, slider dot bubble text equals to uh, this uh, three uh, uh, values. It stores uh, minimum plus total into position dot into uh, to integer. And so this this is basically uh, the value which will be passed into this circle when we will drag it. Right, so for this purpose we are using this uh, line of code and then we are giving the position uh, when we click on that how much on height it should go so that thing is implemented through this line and then uh, when slider dot start uh, text equals to minimum and maximum index will be maximum and start text will be minimum and then uh, slider dot bring tracking listener uh, it, the action will be performed when we are dragging it at that time our text view will be invisible and when we will end of end it by when we will uh, leave it on the slider again we will stop tracking it at that time it will be visible so in this way we are uh, performing the action on this text view by using this slider and as you can see it is more beautiful and very beautiful slider you can use it in your application to make it more innovative so hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching